So how long is it about six months ago around India at the airport? Yeah. So October, and why is the yes so important right now? Yeah, well, because referendums don't come around again. I don't believe that we'll see another referendum for, you know, blackfellas again, you know, in my lifetime, within our generation, you know? Mm -hmm. Drawing from your experiences as a player and a coach, yeah. especially yeah. as a coach, how do you mend broken dialogue? As a member of Collingwood over a long period of time, and we had a pretty checkered history in this space. Yeah. And whether it's systemic or or direct, yeah. there has been, you know, a racist history. Yeah. But I think the way forward is is to have the dialogue. Yeah. You can't go back and change something that's happened in the past. It's, mm. That's done. Yeah. But it's learning from it and doing it better. How do you bring <clears throat> a playing group together to focus on that one goal? I think the one goal is to find out how good you can be together. Yeah. So it's no different to a nation, not how yeah. good can you be together. And the, the thing that I found most powerful was actually acknowledging and celebrating difference. Yeah. Acknowledging and ce celebrating that everyone has a different story. Yeah. Looking back on your playing career and your coaching career, are there many things you wish you could redo? <laughs> yeah, I'm no different than anyone <laughs> else, mate. Plenty of things. First half career, I'm just chasing, you know, validation for me. So how good can I be? And I thought if everyone just was the best that they can be, then collectively, we'll be the best that we can be. But that's not how it works. Because if yeah. every man's thinking about himself, the collective suffers. Yeah. So when I started thinking less about me and I'll help you be the best you can be, it didn't make me any less, yeah. but it, and it gave me more satisfaction because it was helping others sort of grow and develop and prosper. And suppose. that's what I feel like we're stepping into, mm. into the, you know, leading into the last couple of weeks, leading up to the, the mm. referendum. Mm. The value of, of Blackfellas is the question of the referendum which is why, you know, I do things like, you know, just go to go to work, just trying to yeah. trying to help people understand a, a point of view that they might not have heard or listened to before. Yeah, I think I think any any time you get a no, a no is a no is definitive, a no is safe, a no is fearful. Yeah. For me. Yes is possibility. Yes is open-hearted, open-minded. Yeah. And I don't know how the parliament will operate. I don't know how the voice will go about its business, but I trust that we're going to keep moving towards giving the, the First Nations people more of a voice and more of a say to, to bridge a gap and, yeah. and to improve conditions. Yeah, and for sure. Like, so I think yes is the only way to go yeah. because I don't know where no takes you. Yeah. Would that be your halftime address? Yeah, or let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's more important, halftime address or three-quarter time address? Well, as a coach, mate, you get caught up in your own self-importance. <laughs>